Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Yeah, hey, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem, Hashem, we're going to bring out this little short epistle, Lord willing. It's a rebuke, actually, um, on this guy here. This guy here, um, name of uh, Van Ashton, and uh, I don't know if the, I don't know if the big brothers or the elders or anybody has made an epistle about him or a rebuke about him. You know, we have to start, you know, either writing these guys' names down or either if I hear of a rebuke from one of the other brothers, go ahead and make a rebuke so I can keep it, retain it. I don't know. But, you know, as a stripper proclaimed, uh, uh, worry not about them, you know, that's going to be punished and win, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. You know, because clearly this guy's going off. So as I was coming home from the live camp, you know, just, you know, just feeling great, man. <laughs> I was just like, man, that was great. Now, I had proclaimed how much I enjoy bringing out the word. And then, lo and behold, an opportunity arose, bro. You know, um, so I was listening to Elder Apostle Ram Lars' epistle that I reposted uh, here. I don't want to mess this up. But anyway, I got to, uh, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to do it. So I was watching the Elder Apostle Ram Lars' epistle. Where is it at? Wow, it's way back there. It can't be that far back. Um, anyway, then I got a, I got an alert on the phone. Shit, man, what's going on here? Okay, look, 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 okay, look. So there's Elder Apostle Ramla's epistle right there. You see it? Uh, and confess thy name, right? Then, so we're watching that, and then, um, got this alert here, and it said... Van Ashton mentioned you in video, and it's the video he. Uh, so I said, I said, really? What's I said? That's weird. I've never seen anything like that. So I clicked on the video, right, and I started to watch it. See the new company, and you think you own or something? You think you going? You think you, you think you got something going? I'm telling you right now, you motherfuckers better know who you is. I know who the fuck I am, man. Y'all niggas better stop playing, cause I know exactly who I am. And so you see why we took. They was talking about they rather be caught with a gun than with without one. Well, so I so wait, wait, wait. So now you see why we're doing this little rebuke because, uh, uh, let's see, uh, he's got 165 subscribers. He's got five thumbs up. He's got 15 views on this on this on this video. This here, uh, and he's uh, eight minutes in, not one scripture, and of course he's speaking. That's why I'm thinking, I'm like, I wanted the Big Brother Elder making an epistle about this guy already or mentioning him anyway because I do recall him speaking about somebody saying that we're not in, that we're already in the new covenant. And that's exactly what this good dude just said, right? Y'all, did y'all hear that? Let, let's see if I can bring it up. The right time like everlasting, shame and contempt, you're not going to, you're going to wish you were dead. You gonna wish that's that's that that's that part in the scripture when he said everybody gonna wish they were dead, but you ain't gonna be able to die. You gonna just have to deal with that shit. That's a lot of y'all guys for to run into that. That's horrible. All you guys, man, y'all, y'all, y'all guys, man, y'all not seeking the kingdom of heaven, y'all. It's already here, man. It's right in y'all face. All this shit, y'all. I know this something. Okay, so look. We're going we're gonna to stop it right there. I just, you know, I listened to a little bit of it, and I, I already knew, you know, spirit bears witness that this dude was going off, right? Yeah, the scripture does say, hey, the kingdom of heaven is within you. you know, the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's when it's 100% truth. Understanding these words, you know, and rehearsing the righteous acts, having faith in Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, understanding the whole doctrine. That's why we're supposed to eat the whole roll. Believe this word of truth. We're, we're the body. You know, we're not no solo guy running around here saying whatever the hell we want and doing whatever the hell we want. No, we are the body of Yahweh Shema Shai. We're going to get into the scriptures, but I want to bring out. So I went on the I went on the guy's thing. I went on his channel, right? And let's go let's go to that channel real quick, just to, just to make a point. So I went on the channel, and I had to go to videos 
because like big brother elder say you know either they up way up close on the screen or you don't never see their face and i had to go back look how far i had to go back i had to go back 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 just to see all them videos to see what the dude looked like you know you got all these look oh there you go big brother elder right all up on the screen all up in the screen bro look at that so anyway this is the video we were watching a while ago and he's definitely gonna say we're gonna bring it out. We're gonna bring this little piece out, you know. Um, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Let him, you know, speak for it. You know, we're not gonna. Uh, you're gonna get it right from the horse's mouth where he say that we are already in the new covenant, bro. But that's not what the scriptures say. And the reason why we're doing this rebuke, you know, because you know, rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the faith. But you know, through the spirit, this dude is just a bug out. You know, just co to just totally gone, man. If you know, I don't know. And uh, so this 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 epistle here, you got forty seven people that watched it, and three likes. Even though he's saying that we're in the new covenant. Now we understand there's false prophets out here, you know. But our job is to bring out the hundred percent truth. And uh, the strip, you know, you have my shimashai had this fall right into my lap, as you can see. You know, it said, you know, he. And I've never seen a video that said that he made mention of you. So that's you know the spirit of Yahweh Shemasha to bring this this little small epistle out. So let me see if I can play this thing. First of all, when he opens up, of course, you know, he's not a part of, you know, he's not following the doctrine of, of uh, the elder apostle Great Millstone. Doesn't give double honors or anything like that. And so that's, you know, you, you guys going off because Yahweh Shemasha once again tells us to come under one accord, having the same mind, you know. That's what the scriptures say. Now, I, I, you know, being doers of the word, not hears only, deceiving your own self. Yeah, how about Shemasha said, come on. But we understand false prophets got to be out here. You know, we're going to bring that scripture up. That the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. Somebody's got to play that role. So many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not cast out many demons in thy name? And he's going to say, you know, hey, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You know, get, get the fuck away from me. You know, because, you know, of course, obviously, you know, everybody's in there a lot, as we just brought out earlier. Let's play this little video clip and we'll close it up in a minute. I'm, I, I wish I was... See? Where you get that name from? Peace and salutation and grace and mercy upon the men, women, and children, preferably the men. That's guarding the crown. Defending the crown. Which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is the new covenant. Right? That's faith, mercy, and discernment. High level discernment. High level understanding. High level spirit. discernment. Loving your neighbor as you love yourself. Loving your power, Yahweh, with all of your mind, heart, soul, all of your might, all of your strength. Um, we're up under the new covenant. There you go. And uh, Right on the, oh, yeah, yeah, right yeah, out yeah, the yeah. bat. Right out the gate. We, we up under the new covenant. We right? under the new covenant, he say. Which is not true. Therefore, we're up under the shadow of the Almighty of, under Psalms 9 to 1. Okay. Now, see, see, you see, now, wait a minute. Y'all saw he's he to totally gone. See, Psalms 91 is speaking about, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble when shit's going to be hitting the fan. And you have about Shema Shah's going to give his, or, you know, giving his angels charge over us to protect us in that day, you know? Um, but let's get into, let's get into the epistle. I've got a few scriptures to bring out. I'm going to just close it up. I just want to make mention of this guy to rebuke this dude one more time. Rebuke on Van Ashton. Okay? And, uh, you know, um, hey, but as we understand, you know, if it were possible, they deceived the very elect, right, brothers and sisters? But it is not possible. That's why this epistle is going out. This is a rebuke going out. Ephesians. Ephesians, once again, chapter 4, verse 5. Wait, wait, wait. Let's start at verse 4. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay, so you're going to be washed and clean with the word of truth. Not many different words of truth, but one doctrine. One doctrine. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, being washed and clean with this word of truth, believing in the Messiah, which is the word of Yahweh Shah, the word made flesh. Okay? Go to the book of 1 Corinthians, 
chapter 2, verse 14. I want to bring this point out too right here, bro. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah, because I perceive this is going on with this guy. Um, that he's, he's, he speaks about, he speaks a lot about spirituality. You know, he's speaking about spiritual. He's saying spirit, he's saying spirit, spirit, spirit. But I perceive that this dude is carnal as, as a motherfucker. Okay. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Okay. But the spiritual man judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. You know, because, you know, being us being in the spirit, understanding these spiritual things, understanding, you know, this, you know, Yahweh Shemashah has given us the spirit of truth. He's given us these men, the elders, apostle, great millstone. He said, I'm going to give you passage according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. That's spiritual to believe this, this gift of faith, to believe that there's an order, to believe there's one way, to believe there's one door, you know. This is this is spiritual, okay? To believe that we're supposed to wait on Yahweh Hashem and trust in His Word. This is all spiritual. To believe that the Lord has woken us up in the last days to remember that we are the Israelites. That's very spiritual, bro. To believe in spiritual powers, you know. He's talking about spiritual. He's talking about we got spiritual powers now. Of course, Yahweh Hashem said, "You shall receive power," you know. Uh, and this having this understanding, this Holy Spirit is a, is it is a spirit, you know, it is spiritual power. But the Lord is gonna amp that up, you know, in the last days, lifting up that standard, you know. But right now we're not in the new covenant, you know. Right now we're in these these vessels right here, you know, these weak vessels. The, the, the scriptures say we have this treasure in earthly vessels, okay. And we're gonna get into that just in just a second. And this is it's just a spiritual thing. It's just spirit of understanding. Just hey, don't 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 be trying to go too deep, bro. Sit your ass down. Eat the whole roll. Come under the order. You know, be patient. Eat the whole roll, like like you know, like like it's commanded of us. You know, learn this doctrine. Believe. Have faith in the written word. Have faith in what you hear. That's why the, that that First Timothy is very, is a very powerful scripture, bro. But a lot of people, they, you know, like once again, he's calling on the name Yahweh Shah. Where does he get that name from? So why are you not giving double honor to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone? Or whoever you learned that name from? You know, you know, you're talking about, you know, what I'm talking about? It's, it's a, you know, I'm just saying, bro. But once again, all praises to Yahweh Shah Masha for giving us this understanding, for giving us this 100% this truth. Oh, bro, I got to point this out, bro. Look. Yeah, how about Shem Masha put the spirit on me to, to make these little cute little incense holders, man? Look at this thing, bro. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look, we're getting ready, man. Lord willing, we're going to, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, this this stuff, you know, wow, just be everywhere. I just like looking at it, man. It's really something. Okay? I want to bring that out. Um, so, look, once again, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shemasha, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can... He know them because they are spiritually discerned. Okay, see, because he's saying that we're in the new covenant now. But the scripture speaks speaking about something that's about to happen. He makes it sound almost as if we're, you know, uh, in that other that first video I clicked on. He's saying that all the things that we're prophesying about to, to come forth is happening now. This time of Jacob's trouble. You know, of course, we're in the beginning of sorrows, though. But that's why we're going to get this next scripture. Let's go get it real quick. But see, that's a, this is a spiritual things that you have to... You know, have to uh, understand and understand that this is the time, you know, to build up our faith. This is actually the time, you know, to get ready, get prepared for all these things and to be what? Real, well rounded and rooted. So like you're well grounded and rooted in the faith, bro. You know, so whenever somebody come up with a false doctrine like this, you know, and we saw you, you I pointed out how many people are watching that that stuff, you know, so. But for the 144, hopefully elect and one third of Israel, we should be well rounded and root and well. Am I saying it wrong? Well, uh, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm, uh, and rooted, we're supposed to be rooted in the faith. Should I say? Just say. I wanna. Why am I keep saying well rounded and and rooted in the faith? Salaki, so bro. 
But as we brought out last night at the live camp, you know, having that perfect understanding, this word of truth, you know, these epistles that have been brought out for the, by the big brothers and the elders, um, you know, to strengthen, to settle, to establish us. It's been washed and cleaned and baptized with this word of truth. You know, no, no guy having no guile in your mouth, not listening to other strange women or other doctrines because they're going to trip you out and buck you out, bro. Well rooted and grounded in the faith. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want. Well rooted and grounded in the faith. So lucky, bro. The water you have, Ashan Ashai. You know, to bring it back. So we're in the Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 14. It says, Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Okay? Look, let's read some more of this, man. Let me, put, let me bring it up here. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, will not disobey his word. Right. If the Lord tell us, hey, you know, uh, gather yourself together, come under one accord, having the same mind. You know, he's going to give us passage according to his own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. Watch out for these false prophets. You know, turn away from this wicked world. Don't lean on your own understanding. You know, if a man think he's to be something, you know, um, if, you know, he, he's, he's nothing. You shouldn't look at yourself as, as nobody, no great teacher or nothing like that. Humble your damn self down. You know, take correction, take rebuke. And if you really trust the Lord and you fear the Lord, you're going to examine yourself. But, of course, we understand the, the scripture the Lord say, that's why it's very important to understand the whole doctrine, bro. The whole un understanding all of it, bro. That's why the Lord say the deceived and the deceiver is his. He said, if that prophet be deceived, he deceived that prophet. And this is a very fearful thing to, uh, you know, to have, you know, to believe in. You know, got to believe this whole doctrine, bro. And that's why you must examine yourselves and, and uh, the things that come out of your mouth. What you say, what you believe in. Does any, anybody else believe in this? You know, am I alone? Right? That's, a, that's what right there. That, that should tell you a lot right there. Is any other brothers bringing out this thing? What I'm talking about, that we're in the new covenant? You know? Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear the Lord will, will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. Right? Exactly everything we just spoke about. Yeah, how about Shah say, I'm going to give you a pass according to my own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. You know, repent, learn the names of the Lord. You know, I'm going to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be converted, though. Be converted, bro. You know, you, 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 you're a, you should be a new man, putting off that old man, putting off these deeds of the flesh. You know? And being afraid. What does it say? Uh, the fear of the Lord is the first... You know, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. There's a lot of dudes out here. You can just see them. Like, they, don't, they don't give up. They act like they don't care. They have no fear of Yahweh But that's how the story goes. Verse 16. They that fear the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. Saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Right. You know, because what? This time of Jacob's trouble. You know, we're not taking up no arms. Um, you know, we're not uh, over trying to stop over over trying to stock up and all that stuff. Because we trust in Yahweh Shemashah and his word. He said the words the Lord said you, you're gonna be as pilgrims on the earth. It's gonna get so bad, people are gonna start invading one another. Breaking into each other's homes. They're going to throw some of you in prison, concentration camps, all these things. You know, these things are going to happen. This guy is trying to make it sound like they're already happening now because he's carnal. He's not spiritual. He doesn't trust in Yahweh Shema Shah, the word that the Lord is bringing up. That's why he's saying we're already in the new covenant. But we're about to get into that now. And Lord willing, hopefully, I'm, hopefully this epistle, not, I'm not too, you know, making it too long-winded or nothing, bro. I'm sorry. It's just the way the spirit. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't anticipate. You know this. Um, how you know we'd never know how these epistles gonna play out and how they're gonna go. You know. We're going to the book of Matthew, chapter fifteen, 
verse uh let's start let's let's just read 14 matthew chapter 15 verse 14 it simply says let them alone so after this rebuke i'm not gonna say nothing else to that i'm not gonna make another epistle about that guy i'm not gonna go back and forth with that guy you know uh just getting the blood off our hands uh, and uh, if anyone watching this video that has watched that dude, you know, as we understand, hey, don't watch no other camp, bro. Watch uh, brothers from elders, you know, from a great millstone only. And, uh, and of course, the brothers preaching the light doctrine, you know, as the brothers always say. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And the Spirit is going to bear witness, man. If you really are of, of the 144, hopefully like the one-third of Israel, you should know better, bro. You, and like the guy who kept saying, discern, you got to have discernment. You got to have discernment. No, we're talking about some real, actual real discernment. To, to stay away from your ass. You know, and all these other false prophets out here, bro. Okay, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the, of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch, man. And man, Lord willing. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Shema Shah. We're going to the book of Hebrews. Chapter 5, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that someone teach you again, which be the first principle, principles of the oracles of Yahweh Shemashah, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. Okay? This, hey, this, is, this is a, um, you know, it's the simplicity of Yahweh bro. Let's go uh, to Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a church, chaste virgin to Yahweh Shai. Right, and they followed the land where Savior goeth, bro. Another sheep they would not, another shepherd they would not follow, as Yahweh Shai say. But I fear, least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shai. The simplicity of Yahweh Shai, bro. For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye may as well bear with it. Right, because, you know, you don't have no fear, Jihad Bashim You have not seek the Lord's face. You've heard the 100% you truth of the gospel, but you, you got itchy ears. You know, you still want to go somewhere else and do, you might as well put up with it. Because many will say to Yahweh about Shema Shah in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not cast out demons in thy name? You know, done many wonderful works in, in thy name, roughly paraphrasing. And you're going to say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You know? That's why these warnings be going out. That's why these rebukes be going out, bro. Going to the book of, check it out. Let's go to the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 10. Let's, I want to start at 10. For, uh, the point is in 11 that we want to bring out. But I want to start at 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Once again, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. You know, there's one understanding. See, because you got a lot of, like he's saying, we're under the new covenant. But what about the time of Jacob's trouble, bro? He's saying that's happening right now. It is happening. You know, we're at the beginning of sorrows, but it's going to get way worse than that. So this, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding is the stability of thy times, bro. The scripture says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. The M-A-R-K, you know, all these things that these other prophecies that have to be fulfilled. The, the, uh, the uh, damn, the concentration camps, World War Three. This total chaos and, and, and madness out here, man. Anybody got time to be playing around with this stupidness? But this is these are the conditions of the battle, man. You know? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right. We See, we're holding on to this truth. And this is the point we want to make right here. Behold, 
I come quickly. Because he kept, the, the, the dude kept saying, you know, we guarding the crown, we guarding the crown, or something like that. Hold that fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right, hold on to this word. Hold on to this truth. Hold on to this understanding. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the time. Hold on to this faith. You know, don't turn to the left. Don't turn to the right. Don't have on no itchy ears. Don't believe the hype. Okay? And let's get into the um, that, that thing. Now, we just read the simplicity of Yahweh Shah, right? Let's just get that. Let's get a little understanding of the simplicity of Yahweh Shah, man. I want to get, I want to go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31. And I want to read it real quick, but then I want to read it in the, in the, just a quick, a little bit in the NLT. It says, Behold, the days come, say Yahweh Shah, Shah, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was a husband unto them, say Yahweh Shah, Shah, but this, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. You know, not before, not during, but after those days, said the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Okay. And, and, the, and Big Brother Elder always bringing this out. And they shall teach, because look, it, it tells you, I think he, he brought it out today in his live camp. You know, he said they never read the rest of the scripture, even if they read it at all. Because you, as you can saw, that dude didn't read no, well, I don't, the little piece I played. And like I said, he hadn't read any scripture. He quoted, kind of roughly paraphrased a few scriptures. You know? And here's the point. So after those days, I will put my law in their inward parts and and write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. And that's what we've been, that's what we're speaking out, proclaiming on the highways and hedges, and during these epistles. Hey, y'all, you, you got you just hear me speaking about it actually just now. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. The, this whole epistle, I've been saying, they're going off. They don't know you, how about Shema Shai, right? They don't know Yahweh Shema Shai. You can't, you know, um, the Lord Yahweh Shai is the Word, the Word made flesh. You can't take something and twist it around and say, oh, here, that's, he, he's the Lord. You know, no, it's not like that, bro. So this is what the scripture is talking about. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord. You know, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. Said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sins no more. Because he's going to put the law in our inward parts, bro. And it's the simplicity of Yahweh Shema Shai, of understanding the scripture, understanding salvation. Let's go get some more of it. No, okay, we were going to, I was going to, okay, we, so we brought that out. I want to get this 1 Corinthians in the NLT. That's what it was, 1 Corinthians in the NLT. And I wanted to start at verse 45. So because this, this is talking about being changed. This is talking about spiritual things right here, bro. This is a highly spiritual understanding uh, that the Lord is actually going to. Remember the scriptures say, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. Right? But the, when the Lord changes our this uh, mortal body. This, what do they call, corruptible, and make us incorruptible, there's going to be no more death. And you're going to put the laws in their inward parts, bro. Check it out. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. The scripture, the scriptures tell us the first man, Adam, became a living person. And this is Yahweh Shai. But the last Adam, Yahweh Shai, that is Yahweh Shai, is a life-giving spirit. What comes, let me put these glasses on real quick. Uh, what comes first is the natural body. Then the spiritual body comes later. Right, so we want to be the first fruits, you know, to get these 
put off this carnal flesh and put on the immortal, okay? Because what, what comes first is the natural body. Right now we're in natural bodies. Then the spiritual body comes later, okay? Adam, the first man, was made from the dust of the earth, while Yahushua, the second man, came from heaven. Okay? Earthly people are like the earthly man. And the and heavenly people are like the heavenly man. So it's giving you like a before and after. And we're we're right behind you, Shai, right? And we're hoping we are. Once again, being the first fruits. You know, being delivered. Uh, you know, Yahushua says some of you sitting standing here may not may not taste of death. But then the scripture also said uh, the spirit that raised up Yahushua can also raise you up, you know. Uh, and this scripture, we're gonna we're about to get it. But this scripture is gonna go into it in verse fifty-two. Uh, where we at? So we at the uh, First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse forty-nine. Just as we are now like the earthly man, we will someday be like the heavenly man. Okay, so it's simple like that. Someday. This is also speaking of the new covenant when the Lord is gonna put the laws in our inward parts, bro. Okay, what am I saying, dear brothers and sisters? Is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh As it is written, ye are gods, right? These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. What? That's right, spiritual things. Spiritual things, brother. We're talking about something. What the, what the scripture say? Eyes have not seen nor ear heard all the wonderful things that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh had prepared for them that love him, bro. Okay? That's why we're suffering now. Because we're being patient. Woe to you that have lost patience, bro. We're believing in this word. We're humbling down. We're hoping. 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 Not trying to get it over here. But we, we but the Lord said, rise ye in the park, for this is not your rest. But we mentally, spiritually, to the best of our abilities, man. We we have that vision of the things to come rather than the things that are present, okay? And that's what is what's that's what's going on around here. What what I am so First Corinthians chapter fifteen verse fifty. What what I am saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. These dying bodies cannot inherit that. Can and not inherit what will last forever. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. A, it's a secret. We will not all die. But we will all be transformed. So this is what the scriptures say. We shall all be changed, you know, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, right? Look, verse 51 again. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not die all. We will not all die. But we all. But we will all be transformed. It will happen in a moment. In the blink of an eye. When the last trump is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. That's that new, when the Lord put the new, going to give us the new bodies. And put the covenant, you know, in our inward parts. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Okay? So you got to believe, man. You got to have hope and faith and understand and trust in spirit, these spiritual things. That Yahweh Hashem is a spirit. And those who worship Yahweh Hashem must worship Him in spirit and in truth. This is reality. Something that we've never heard or seen. This is that new song, bro. This is what truth, truth of the scriptures looks like and sounds like. Okay? Because in these lying-ass churches... You know, they just go on about it, you know, thinking, you know, hey, uh, 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 let's just praise break on it. You know, no, no, no. We're talking about some real things happening around here. We're talking about this M-A-R-K being implemented around here. We're talking about Teeth of Wild Beasts. We're talking about spirits created for vengeance around here. We're talking about the return of Yahweh by Hashem and Shai around here, bro. Okay? Then, when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, the scriptures... The scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory, bro. I'm going to leave it right there. You know? Now, listen. I want to... Uh, I want to read this one more time. I want to read this too. I'm going to close it up with the book of Ezekiel. Just to... Uh, 
Because, you know, I don't know. Because it's the Spirit. Ezekiel chapter 36. Uh, we're going to start at 22. We're going to read it a little quickly. But the point is made already. You know? But this speaks about it again. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, said the Lord God, Yahweh Shemashah. Then, I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. You know? Uh, that reminds me of uh, Wisdom and Solomon. Uh, them groaning and, and groaning within themselves. Is This was he who we sometimes had in the derision? You know, we counted his life madness and to be without honor. How is he numbered among the saints? Um, roughly paraphrasing. So this is verse... Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. And as the brothers say, these, these, these scriptures be, you know, saying the same thing in different ways. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Because the law is going to be in our inward parts. We're going to be under the new covenant. You know, when the Lord changed our bodies, you know, we, we've been beamed up in those chariots, you know, during the height of World War Three, when the nuclear warheads have been shot over here. You know, it all adds up. It all lines up perfectly. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. You know, right now we're rehearsing the righteous acts. But when the Lord give us that fleshly heart and take away this stony heart, they're gonna, the law is going to be our inward parts. And ye shall dwell in the land that I give to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your God. I also... I will also save you from all your uncleanliness and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and increase of the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourself in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes will do I do this, said Yahweh Shemashah, but it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from your all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the waste it shall be builded, and the desolate land shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. We're going to leave it right there, bro, but yeah, just, you know. Hey, we're not in the new covenant now. We're not in the new covenant now, bro. But, you know, Lord willing, we're going to endure until the end. And the Lord's going to soon come and get us out of this hell hole. And he's going to put the laws in our inward parts. He's going to give us those new body, bodies. But first, we know, through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. We've got a little bit, we got a little bit to go. So just hold on. Hold that fast which thou have that no man take thy crown, bro. So hopefully this was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Quidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever it goes. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.